the awesome days are again back i have already talked a lot about the amd ryzen watch my older video one year ago watch my two and three years old video on the ryzen i was right i was right on the pricing i was right on everything yes i was right on everything mostly a lot of people say how it can be like a 549 you as a CPU which can compete with a one thousand dollar i7 people make fun of me i'm sorry the price is not 549 it's even below it's 499 i write i know every video i say the margin can 100 dollar up or 100 dollar can down do not sue me on that i was really right still people think that i mean you know i mean read the comment section box below what people think that so the purpose of making this video is not just making another video the purpose of making this video is to show you that never ever estimate someone's fear for for something i am a gamer i'm not a huge gamer i'm a gamer i'm an amd fan but i love amd from the bottom of the, my heart but the best thing amd have did right now is that they did not launch the amd ryzen back like few years ago they wait they wait there was some reports out there we say that the amd ryzen performance was slower than the at that time i7 i7 3370k if i'm not wrong amd waited their research and development department i mean progress progress design architecture they work hard work hard now here we go i really hate when people who did not talk about the amd riser for last three and four years suddenly i mean amd had called them to their headquarter and then showing their amd riser processor and then guys are making fun of amd in front of the amd ceo i mean i mean what 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 what, what is that guy austin even or evan or whatever the crap he is i mean he i mean you need to understand something when you are being called at a headquarter you cannot just make a fun he just in front of every amd i mean person out there he said he's not going to trust your benchmark which amd is showing that he's going to do his own benchmark it seems cool yeah definitely yes but the problem is that you are trying to program the consumer that the AMD is showing the benchmark do not trust them they are going to always tell lie they are telling lie I'm a guy who's going to show my real benchmark because Intel sponsored me hugely Intel signed me the SSD the i7 Intel signed me the nuclear bomb type whatever I mean SSD I mean if you can I don't know what it was called Intel sent them in some kind of uh, again I mean SSD PCIe SSD in some kind of retro video game case so I'm a guy who's heavily funded by Intel I'm, I'm not going to trust I mean this one uh, again I do not I mean remember his name Austin even and then there's another stupid dude out there Linus to be honest with you now I really wanna call he was a guy he was a pure geek of from the bottom of the heart he makes stuff which was really good now i mean after i have watched an ms video on the lg g5 a huge a disappointment he bashed lg g5 we can all agree lg g5 have some like shortcoming but it is one of the best phone of 2016 i mean no one want to make a fun of galaxy note 7 which was a time bomb i mean you can kill you but lg g5 did something best they make a modular phone they make the best camera for a vlogger for a youtuber everything was perfect i mean watch his video on that time and they, at, at the end of them mostly now we really want to talk something why most youtubers are becoming sell out people do not understand i get a lot of crap sponsorship from like a shave a blade or dollar shave whatever i did i say anything did you see any sponsorship in my video people do not understand youtuber which have like 500 subscribers they are marketing the crap i mean saying whatever i mean by the dollar shave did you see i'm not a guy seller company sent me here there's some tech product three or four times i like it i review the huan graphic design tablet i have some experience so i really appreciate i i say okay and then they say you need to keep it i do not return back so the point is that i get a lot of crap sponsorship like up from a lower chinese company i do not like if i like i will accept but the point is that 
when I see people who are totally sell out go to the AMD headquarter try to I mean AMD is totally right AMD um, AMD goal was that don't get me wrong there's like very good I mean uh, YouTube out there what was it called the motherboard uh, I mean motherboard uh, motherboard org or something like that I mean uh, I forgot his name to be honest I do not watch YouTube compared to like three or four years I, I, I watched that guy a lot I mean anyway the point is that AMD did something right AMD called the YouTubers they know now YouTube are the power of the media I mean if get they can convince their audience the audience is going to buy because they are trying to market this one as a gamer and some video editing but at the end of the day I think there can be like a backlash for AMD I just type AMD Ryzen and then see what people are talking about I mean I'm a guy who hates AMD who loves AMD but at the same time I do not wanna bash something we all know AMD Ryzen is absolutely superior to the crappy i7 Intel hold a monopoly the youtuber do not wanna point out that Intel is a monopoly because they are sell out Intel sell them a lot of crap out there Intel wanna sponsor me I'm sorry I do not need a sponsorship the point I'm just trying to make across is that stop listening to the people who are sell out. Again, I'm not targeting the entire content. Austin even have done some of the best video I have watched in my life. Because if I'm not wrong, that guy, yeah, I think so. He makes some very good like top words, uh, five tech laptop, words technology, good technology, something like that. Oh, I think I, I started watching from his Game Boy video, something like that, do not show me. The point is that, but when I see this kind of crap, which is totally sell up, making fun of AMD Ryzen in their headquarters, absolutely, they, I mean, they should be like much better, I mean, policy, you cannot be two things at time, you cannot, I mean, review a AMD processor when you are AMD uh, Intel sell up. I mean, you cannot, at the end of the day. You cannot do it at the end of the time. If any gamer, because I'm getting a lot of comments and I'm, I'm getting some emails, people asking me what, what should they buy AMD processor because AMD just showing the benchmark in a control environment. Can they trust that those benchmark or they just go with the upcoming i7 in June? I say totally go for the AMD Ryzen. Do not listen to anyone who's trying to, I mean, program you who is an Intel sell out. Again, I'm not uh, targeting any specific individual. I'm just calling a person who take the fund from Intel, who, who take the sponsorship from Intel. He cannot talk or give his honest opinion on AMD processor. Again, it's not one, it's not about one person. Subscribe and bye.